Welcome back to McCaffrey Farms here in the eastern plains of Colorado. Let's get to today's video, but first, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Be sure to like the video if you enjoy it, and be sure to ring the bell icon. That'll notify you when I post videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But let's get to working on the corn planter. I'm gonna pull this into the shop and then I'm gonna get all the pieces we need and I'm gonna start plumbing all these tanks in getting them back to the planter and everything I'm gonna try and get that done and that way that's one less step we have to do and more one step closer to being ready for this spring I just got some zip ties, um, should have plenty, quite a few in there, but um, if you didn't see the last video, I kind of had some of it set out. That area is missing because we had to take that one when we went and got the other parts. We got 30 foot of hose, should be a little more than enough, and we got 300 feet of 3 8 hosing, which is what we'll be going from those fertilizer stands um, that we're having made with those red ball systems down to the actual row units. Um, right now, I think I'm just gonna mess with the tanks and getting it back to the planter, but uh, we'll see how far I get. So first things first on this, we have these two new two inch valves. What those are for is under here, um, this valve right here, it's actually an inch and a half valve. We want two inch valve. We had to get an adapter piece that goes from those threads to the right threads we need into this valve and then into the coupler. So that's the first thing you need to do is we got the one off already. We need to get that one off. And then from there, we can put those valves in under the tanks. And then um, I can start holding the hose up, seeing how much we need exactly where to cut and then where to tie into the T. Let's try and get this one off and then get those valves put on. Got both of them off now. So what I'm gonna do is we have some of the liquid uh, pipe thread sealant stuff. Voila, gonna take these fittings here and then these female couplers. I'm gonna take those out, put a, that pipe thread stuff on it, get those as tight as I can. And then from there, once I get this piece back into here and tightened good, then I'll put it, the sealant stuff here and put these back under the tanks. And then from there, I'll start running all the hosing. I got both fittings on both um, valves pretty well tightened. So now I'll put the sealant stuff on the other threads and go try and start getting them spun into under the tanks. I'm gonna have to run to the one co-op with this because apparently they had already 
reduced from the valve to the tanks by half an inch because I put ours up there with the inch and a half size reducer on it and it just wouldn't start, wouldn't start. Looked, it's still too big. So I'm gonna take this to the co-op in Kirk and see if we can't get the right size finally. Third time will be the charm. Hopefully it works, but I'll take the red Ford over there and see if they have what we need. Okay, so now I believe we have the right reducer. And dad went to Steel Corner where we had these built. That was the old one and where we're splitting them apart. Um, we had them just build two new ones because time they did all the cutting and different stuff to make that one work is going to be a lot easier and probably even a lot cheaper because it would have been less labor we just told them to build two new ones so once we get to the point here in the next day or two we'll be trying to take the old fertilizer stuff off and then putting these on and making sure they'll work and then once we do that and get all the other stuff for the fertilizer put done we'll have the fertilizer done then just need to check all the openers anyways let's get back to where we were they did only have one at kirk but my brother michael is coming home from laramie and he was going through fort morgan so he's gonna be able to stop at brush where we got all the original parts be able to pick up another one we already called it in got it ordered they said they'll set it out for him so we'll get everything rigged up to where once he comes all we'll have to do is screw the other one into the other uh, valve attach it to the hosing and we'll be good to go all right welcome back it's quite a few days later from the last time i filmed for this little project but um we for sure have everything we need now um we ran into a slight problem because when it started putting it all together only one of the two inch to inch and a half reducers worked very confused on why or first um we checked the inch and a half to two inch reducer wasn't working and we looked and on the left tank it just is too big so we took that reducer off went to the one co-op said well that's two inch to inch and a quarter so we got some of those well come to find out we took the valve from the right tank but the valve we took it had an inch and a half size reducer on it already so but the reducers on each of them were different one was two to inch and a quarter one was two to inch and a half so got everything now we're gonna cut this final hose get it there and put it all back underneath the tractor and those will be good all right we got the end of that hose heated up um, got it slid on. I think dad's getting the ratchet to tighten the hose clamp, but um, that'll be enough to draw it from each tank and get it back to the planter. Um, we still have to put the reducer on the other new valve for the right tank and get that spun on underneath the tank. And then from there, we'll be able to put this all under the tractor and onto the planter, and then we'll have that done. And then from there, I think we're gonna call it good for this video. 
But like I said, the reason we ran into that problem is because we took the valve off the right tank of the side tanks and we checked to make sure the reducer was the right size and everything. And when I got home, tried to put it all together earlier in this video, I put the left tank on first. So that's why we thought we didn't check close enough. Well, when we took the other one out and looked at it closer, we found out it was an inch half. So we did right. We checked good enough, but not good enough to make sure they're both different. So we're going to fix that. All right. So we got this all ran underneath, zip tied the way we want it. We've got it ran back under the tractor, looped up and to where we can hook it there. This will probably be kind of how we have it for going down the road. We'll just get a bungee cord or something, strap it there, make sure it doesn't fall, and then just attach it and detach it each time we fold. Because this part here, whenever we fold, always ends up clear back there. That is the pain of having side tanks on the tractor like we do with a planter like this. That's the easiest way we found to do it, and that's how a few other people have told us they've done it. So just be a matter of remembering to unhook it and not stretching it out. But thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And be sure to ring that bell icon. That'll notify you when I post my videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But for now, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.